Church on Sunday, two, three, two, three. Church on Sunday, two, three. So that's, yeah, Church on Sunday, 23, yay! Wow, 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 So, hi, 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 everybody, everybody in the world, everybody, yeah! We're talking about that spiritual voice, you see, huh? Spiritual voice, and we're living in that world where it's important now, 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 important now, now, important now than ever, important now than ever. It's really important, more now than ever. And I can't stress enough to you, you know, the fact that, you know, being able to teach children to be able to have relationship. It's about relationship. It's not about religion. It's not about going to church and singing hymns and going to Sunday school and learning all the stories of the church and the sun. It's about relationship. Unfortunately, um, you know, a lot of churches don't really teach that it's about relationship, you know, and stress relationship. Uh, and that's not to say every single one of them out there that is, but, you know, I mean, that's the critical part. That, that, that's the critical part because it really is. It's about relationship. It's about connection. It's about listening to that voice. You know, and and we're going to back up a little bit. You know, and uh, you know, in the in in the in the in the in the Bible. I mean, you know, you're like, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You know, and there's a, there's a, the verse where it says, and Jesus said to Simon Bar uh, Simon Bar Jonah, "Who am I? You are you are the Christ. You are the Son of God." Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for it is not by flesh and blood that has revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And is it upon this rock? Is it upon this rock? You know? Okay, so think about this. Blessed art. Okay, whatever. It is, an, it is not flesh and blood that has revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. It is not flesh and blood who has revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And is it upon this rock? And you know what I interpret upon this rock? The rock that you stand on? The one that gives you faith, strength, and peace? The ability to hear and listen to God. It is upon this rock. It is upon this rock. The ability for you to hear and listen to God is upon this rock that will be my church. And it's the my church and it's the church of people who are listening to God. Not even so much listening because, you know, I think it's implied that if you're listening, that you're going to do what you're told. I mean, because people who are genuinely listening, genuinely, are going to do, are going to act, right? So it is upon this rock, the ability to hear and listen to to God and what's being said because and, and and I can't stress to you how important it is for that these days to be able to do that to be able to tune in and listen not by flesh and blood not from flesh and blood there is that spiritual voice inside you that's going to guide you for me it's it's for health wise it's it, it's guided me towards many things that are that have enhanced my health tremendously health habits look for it selects ha teen health habits yeah i mean listening and paying attention right got to pay attention got to pay attention got to pay attention has brought that stuff into my life and and all these little stories that i've shared with you about uh you know the saving money saving my life saving my kids life uh giving me peace about him going into the world go, them going into the world and being able to listen to the, to the voice that's inside them because it could save your life, you know? So it is more important now that we do this than anything. It's more important now that obviously to me in certain aspects that we evolve on this planet to the understanding that there's one God and that we're all God's children. Okay? Okay! Okay! Okay, so I've been on this path for a while. Okay! Okay, so I've, I've been developed things that, you know, at, at a little, little bit more and you can too, because but you got to start. You got to start, and you got to start by having that relationship. And if you're already having that relationship, enhance it even more by what? By be still and know God and spending time in silence. And if you need to express something and open your mouth, it's only in gratitude. Thank you, God. Praise God. Thank you. Bless, bl thank you for all the blessings that you give me, Heavenly Father. Thank you. And God. And then just having your mind on God. And, you know, go back and listen to those other ones where I'm talking about them. the highway. And on the highway. Yep, on the highway. Go back and listen to those. You're supposed to be listening to one, two, three, four. You're supposed to listen to succession anyway. So, well, you know. <laughs> 
So, obviously, I've been you know working a long time, but I'm still I'm still working on it too, and I'm still working on the, some of the little piddly 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 things too. You know, like so. I mean, obviously, I've been working on it for a little while, so I've developed a little bit more, and now you know it's so blatant. But I I'm st I still like everybody else, am you know have issues with listening. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, you know, I'm still working on it too. And the particular aspects as far as that's concerned, like say for instance, here's another simple, silly one. And I can't tell you how unbelievably this one touched my uh, heart at the time that it happened. And I know this sounds silly, but it's the little things that happen in your life that build your faith, you know, that, that allow you to step even more and feel a little bit more confident as far as that's concerned. So, so one time, and I know this sounds silly, right? But like, I, I buy the big boxes of toilet paper to stock the house, right? And I'm like, well, let's see, and I go in there and I didn't really stop to think going to any of the, um, going to any of the, uh, the bathrooms to count just how many rolls I needed so I could stock the, um, uh, stock the, uh, you know, the bathrooms and whatnot. So, uh, I, I just, so, so I get this little plastic bucket I have and I'm just dumping, uh, dumping rolls in there, you know, just dumping rolls in there. And I'm like, Hmm, I look down and I'm sitting wondering if I got enough. And then again, the, the marquee across the blank screen, get three more, you know, so I get, so what do I do? Right? I mean, how blatant is that? See, I've, I've, it's happened to me enough to where I listen, you know, but I still need work listening too. No doubt about and I don't want to discourage anybody that's out there to say that um, it's going to take you years or such a long time too. What's helpful here is that I'm telling you some things that are going to take you down the highway of being able to develop so that you can start experiencing just a little bit sooner. Because I don't think that I've ever heard anybody out there who really talking about relationship, about relationship. It's about relationship. It's not about going to church. It's about relationship. It's about the voice inside and being able to tune into it and listen to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this little story about the toilet paper, right? So I, um, 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 so what do I do? I get three more and you know, you got to unwrap each one of them or whatever I get. And as trivial as this one was, I mean, it really touched me deep because when you, when you can hear something and then, um, um, and then act, there is victory in that. Believe me, victory. And even though this is such a simple thing with get three more, you know, toilet paper rolls. Okay, come on. I mean, really? I mean, come on, come on. I mean, I'll, I'm not that stupid. I mean, yeah, one, get Mm-mm. No, because you got to practice with the little small things. And then when it's critical, you've already been testing and trying with the others. And there's no, there's no reason for you to, uh, for you to doubt it at that particular time. Cause you know, boom. Whatever it is, it goes across that more keyboard. So it was like, get three more. So I get three more. I take them up. I'm, I'm in I go to one bath up, wrap bathroom. I'm wrapping them. I fill that. I fill the rolls on the wall. I fill the little, uh, whatever the, the spindle thing that stocks several rolls, you know, on it. And then I go into the other bowl and I go, and then I'm looking down. I'm wondering, you know, how's this going to work out? Okay, that's the whole thing about this stuff. That, that's the whole thing about listening on their spiritual voice is, is faith. Faith, faith, faith. Having some faith. Faith is the most difficult thing. I think that's probably what turns people away so much is that you have to have faith. Faith is not easy. You know, so so I took faith in that because I, you know, I've I'm, I'm been going, boom, 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 going along, going along, and I look down this bucket. And I'm going to the other bathroom, and I go and I stock the two rolls on the stock the two rolls on the on the rollers. You know, the kind of twos, the ones that are sitting there every time you need to. Well, you know, you know, you know, and then um, uh, and then sure enough, I unwrap the final three, and it stacks it, and I unwrap the final three, and it stacks it up perfectly to fill it completely. I mean, and, and you know, that sounds so simple, but so huge to be able to hear that voice, not revealed by flesh and blood, but to hear that voice and to act and to do it. And, you know, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget it. And I hope you don't either. And you got some stories for you. So go to go to 2020.
24, 24. Select Church on Sunday 24, yeah! <laughs>